hey hey what's going on as stated in the video that was before or after this either way it's next to this <coughs> in the Rin Soho Chan um, I'm going to be doing a review on the infamous God Hand um, this is SPN 120 this is the one that everyone's clamoring for um, you know shops are selling them at ridiculous prices uh, $80 $75 so on and so forth I was lucky enough um, I have a friend that is in Singapore his name is Tony and we talk all the time I send him kits that he can't get sent to him things like that um, and he actually got me these for my birthday <clears throat> and uh, so I, I thank you a lot dude because I, I personally was not going to spend the eighty dollars for one now um, speaking with him he actually said that these are actually fairly um, affordable there um, I think he said that uh, he got them for thirty five maybe forty dollars um, and the funny story behind the God hands uh, are that I ended up finding out is that these were originally designed there are different types um, and I think on the back of here it says somewhere about uh, for plastic um, but the God Hand brand um, was originally created for doing nails uh, as in like fingernails um, and then of course someone picked them up started using them for these purposes and went holy crap these work awesome and that's kind of where they took off there are a a bunch of different types of these um but we're gonna we're gonna kind of put these through the paces um working on this and then i will come back and give you my uh my overview but uh as stated before i have my citadel um which i generally just use for clipping resin and things like that um and then i have my tamiya sharp pointed uh, Tamiya has two different ones. They have their basic standard, and then they have the um, the what I call the gold label, which are the Tamiya sharp uh, sharp tips. We have the the Volks um, nippers, um, which I have really come to love. Though you do have to be cautious because of how long the cutting section is, uh, that you don't nip plastic along with it. Um, and then we have these guys. So let me take you over the packaging real quick. So as you can see, God Hand, uh, Japan, uh, SPN 120, uh, three millimeter, uh, and I'm not sure what the three millimeter is standing for. Um, and then uh, writing on the back, which I can't read. Do, 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 do. Okay, so let's slide that out. Get that out of the way. Now, one of the things that I did notice, this is not the first time of it being out of the package. Um, I am not sure what this pin is here for. Oh, wait, never mind. I just answered my own question. Is there as a stop? So the spring spring loaded, that's that acts as a stop against that. So they'll only open that far. Um, one of the nice things there is like a, a set screw with a nut on here and it appears to be already calibrated so that it stops it so that you don't even if you squeeze too hard it's not going to um, over I guess over squeeze is the thing and end up screwing up the blades um, now I don't believe that these are tempered steel the reason I say that is because um, talking to a few people, uh, you know, that maybe had a couple drinks, messed around, and were trying to cut uh, uh, the Neo Zeong's runners, <laughs> um, which I guess are huge, probably something, you know, the gates on it, probably something like this, um, actually broke one of the blades on theirs. And I see people complain about that they broke their blades all the time. And that's because they're trying to cut stuff either too thick, too so forth. 
Um, I do not foresee these being general nippers, um, but being more of precision you're wanting, like I end up doing with my reviews, of wanting to trim off and then trim down the nub as close as possible to avoid having this time of filing it. Yes, it's somewhat lazy, but hey. Um, and oh, this is where it's at. It says for plastic uh, on there. I, you guys probably can't see it. Um, and then I am going to do this. Do, 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 do. Bear with me. There we are. Okay, so there you can see the spring, the stop nut, the stop up there. Now, one thing I did find interesting on here, here's the backside. It is flat like it is flush flat there's no curvature looking at it there's no curvature or anything to there the blade is thin you will notice on this one side there is somewhat of an edge but not very much your cutting edge is going to be on here and it is actually sharp um, and it appears looking at looking at it I am assuming that that is laser cut um, you can you can kind of see the reflection of I'm not sure where that reflection is coming from I think it's coming off the mic but where you have this there is none on that it is it is glossy kind of the same thing on here I have uh, messed with it a little bit but you can you can see the rainbow effect that's on there um, with these which are the Volks you've got a longer thing um, both edges are sharp now on the back side here there is a little bit of a curvature on the back side it's not completely flat the Tamiya again slight curvature shorter cut uh, shorter cut up and down but these are my go-to's the Citadel's um, you can actually see uh, there's actually gap in between the blades there. They were that way out of the package. Um, I was not impressed with these at all, but they work great for um, the like the Warhammer mini, the plastic that's on there because it is kind of a uh, almost flexible. So uh, how should I do this? Um, well here we'll do this um, I'm actually not going to compare it because we've done those and I'm not doing a lot I'm just doing a couple pieces and then um, <clears throat> do, 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 do. then what I will do is I will um, build this up and everything I'll do the review on it and the review on these at the same time so that uh, kind of two birds with one stone I didn't want to just grab pieces and go I think uh, this will be a good because there's actually three nubs that are on here so um, keep track we'll do it this way um, bring you down reset the focus I think that should be about good that should work pretty good alright so the first one we're going to use the Tamiya Tamiya Golds Getting enough reflection on there, so you can see that's pretty good. We'll grab the Volks here, and you can kind of see what I mean by. And this is what I end up catching myself doing 
um, all the time with these. If you guys can see that, I love these. They work great. But the cutting tip on here is so long, um, I end up catching part that um, that I shouldn't. All right, then third final cut is going to be with the God Hand. Now, one thing I have to say, damn, it cuts through like butter. There is still a little bit of a mark, but that I don't think that's on them. I think that's on me. Um, one thing that I would suggest when you're doing doing this, since this backside, this side over here does not have really a cutting edge. What you're cutting with is this one. Place that up flat, line up, and squeeze. The one thing I gotta say, there is no stress marks. That one was already clipped close as it was. Now, there are going to be instances that you still want to sand. But you can see that that is actually pretty smooth. So what I'm going to go, th uh, go through and do is um, I'm going to do the buildup of the Rinso Ho Chan. Um, review it and then come back and let give you guys my opinion um, on these whether they're worth uh, the money or not so I'll be back hey hey back again and time for the second half of the God hand review I do have to say after you know I just use it on this kit so I haven't done a full-blown kit with it or any other plastics other than uh, the coat of IKEA I uh, can tell you some faults that I've already found with them. Um, but I'll end up getting into that. So this whole thing, uh, except for a few pieces, were trimmed with the God Hand. Um, and or, you know, with my Tamias. Now looking on here. Get this into focus for you guys. I know there's a happy medium in there um, it didn't do too bad but there is still a nub there and if anything I think there's actually more of one than there was using my Tamiya uh, wasn't horrible but I will tell you guys where the downfall is everywhere that I clipped it you can see um, a nub now this one I can tell I clipped with the Tamiya because there is a little stress mark right there but it's actually flush um, this one is raised and it's strange because they're all raised in one direction <coughs> where the Tamiya blades actually have sharp edges on both sides the God hands are more flat on this side this side is you know razor pretty much razor sharp um, and what I've noticed in trimming these if I trim this way then it is perfectly smooth going this way from the plastic but there's a nub left on this side where the flat side sits um, now if this was the same on both sides meaning um, there's a good view of it you can see how this one's razor comes to a razor edge right here and this one is actually kind of flat there's just a little edge on there or a little sharpness to grab it but it's pretty much flat if it was this way on both sides this thing would cut awesome um, do I feel that it's worth 
well, I'll just say this. It's not worth the aftermarket or USA prices or eBay prices of the $75, anything like that. Um, no way in hell is it worth that. Um, the Tamiya ones, 31 bucks, sometimes down to 28 for uh, the gold label on Amazon. From Volks, you can get these which are sharp on both edges, cut perfectly uh, flat or uh, smooth, uh, like 35 bucks from Volks. Um, if you can get these at what would be retail of, you know, the $25, $30, sure, pick up a pair. Um, but definitely not worth, um, not worth what they're charging for the aftermarket price. Now, if they have some that, um, you know, are the same as this side on others, yeah, and I can, I said it before, it almost looks like a hologram, and you can tell that it's actually laser cut on this one side, uh, where this side is ground. Um, you know, if it was this way on both sides, I'd be, I'd be down. I'd almost say it's worth the, the $50 or so. Um, but as it stands right now, it's not. Um, you can already tell just from the little bit of um, cutting I've done, there's already some scratches uh, on the back side there. So I don't know how durable these are going to be in the long run as far as keeping that edge. I will give you guys an update later on, um, you know, so, sometime down the road. I will end up using them. <clears throat> Don't get me wrong on that, and you know I'll just do periodic uh, updates. But that is it for this video. Um, I hope it was informative and helped somebody uh, in making a decision on whether to get them or not. Um, stay tuned for, of course, more unboxings and builds coming. And um, I got a message from NewTypeBuilds.com. Um, uh, after some delays the website will be should be up later this week um, so stay tuned for that he got um, all his where he got a big chunk of stock in um, and I think I will have most of um, the high-grade build fighters coming to review for you guys that I haven't done already so I am super stoked with that uh, thanks to them for that and uh, so Everyone have a great day, great week, and uh, hope Monday isn't too bad for you. I will talk to you guys all later. Peace.